So when you're a kid and you start to become more aware of money, like any amount that you receive, you know, you feel like you're rich, right? I remember when I was a kid and, and I, I, you know, I would get a dollar. I, I, all I could think about was like all the penny candies I could buy, right? I was like, oh man, I got a lot of money. There's so many penny candies I could buy. But then as you get older, right, you have more responsibilities, right? The things they teach you is like, all right, you know what? As you're making money, you know, open up a bank account, right? That's one of the first things that they teach you. Like open up a bank account. You can put your money in there, save, and then you can save for things like a house. You know, you, you, have, you start to have a family. Um, these are things that, you know, you save up so you can, so you can get the things that you want to buy. But then... As you go through life and, and, and you go, you know, as you go through life and, and you find yourself, you know, struggling, like living paycheck to paycheck, you kind of say like, all right, hey, what the hell is going on? Like I'm doing all the things that I'm told to do. Why am I still struggling? And, and, and just, you know, just to make ends meet. And of course, the main problem is usually a money, it's a money in money out problem, right? Like you're more money is going out than that's coming in. That's usually the main problem for a lot of people that, that, that struggle when it, when it comes to living paycheck to paycheck. But if you're some, but as you get your finances order, if you're someone that, that, that has their finances order. And you, you, you know, you've maintained a budget, but you still find yourself struggling um, just to just to just to get by. Obviously, with inflation and things being so expensive, then you start to think, like, hey, what you know, what's the real issue? And then as you go on through this, you 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 try to figure things out. You read books like you know that help improve your financial literacy. Like you read books like Rich Dad Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, um, etc. Right? And they talk about and, and in these books while you're reading, they say, all right, don't put your money in the bank. Uh, uh, the rich don't work for money. Uh, pay yourself first. Um, invest in assets. That that generate income and as you start to, to really understand you start to learn obviously the the, the you know the, the the message is like make more money right you know increase your income make you know find a way to make more money but the old, what 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 they're really trying to say is and this is what leads me to why um, you know the one of the worst mistakes that you can make with your money is not multiplying it right the reason why you do these things is not, you know, the reason why you, you're not putting your money in the bank and, um, you know, the rich don't work for money and, and there are people, you know, say pay yourself first and invest in assets that generate income is you have to find ways to multiply your income, right? If you're putting your money in a bank, that's generating no interest, right? You're losing money because of because of inflation. You have to find a way to put the, put your money and and how to multiply that dollar. You got to find a way to turn that dollar and turn it into a hundred dollars as quick as possible, right? And this is why they tell you to do these things because you have to find ways to multiply your income because because your, your your efforts alone is not enough. Like your job alone is not enough to build wealth, right? You have to find ways to, um, whether you're working, you're, you're, you're creating income for yourself, whether it's through your job or your business, you have to find a way to then take that income that you've, you've created actively and, and and find a way to passively earn income, uh, whether it's through, through high yield savings accounts, whether it's through investing in the stock market, uh, investing in um, real estate or investing in a business. You have to find a way to turn that money and multiply it and i think for a lot of people that's where we we, we struggle right we we struggle and, and, and understand that oh you know we, we we put our money in the bank or maybe we invest in a 401k but we fail to really understand that we have to find ways to multiply our income as much as possible we focus too much on consuming right instead of being producing producing income um and that's where we get a lot of trouble because we're, we're consumers we're a consumer nation a consumer country where we spend we spend and we spend we don't really think about how to take money and multiply it because and like in the end and we're getting older, we're going to have less energy, and we have to find ways to, to make our money work for us, right? Instead of having that money and then just spending it on things that really don't matter to us or we really don't need. You have to find ways to multiply that income. And, and for a lot of people, once you start to understand that, and once you start to really um, emphasize that and focus on that, if you're someone that's struggling financially, you'll find yourself... Um, your financial situation start to change, right? You start to, it's like a flip of the, of the switch. You say, all right, you know what? You Money's coming in. Other than find a way to take this money and find a way to put it in things that's going to multiply that over time, right? Because like I said, relying on your income alone is not enough. Relying on your job, whatever income that you're coming in is not enough to build wealth. You have to find ways to multiply that income and then over time it can build and help you build wealth long term. So like I said, the biggest mistake for a lot of people is just not, emphasizing the focus on 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 multiplying that income and and once you do that you'll see um your financial situation change and and hopefully that you know you'll you start you know put put more focus on 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 ways to like um have your money work for you instead of you having to work so hard for your money so and i think that's for, that's a struggle for a lot of people these days is that they're finding themselves working so much and they're not seeing the benefit it's just like all right I'm working, I'm working more hours and yet I look at my bank account and I still don't have any money. And that's because they really haven't understand what they have to do with that money that they're making, right? They're spending too much. Um, they're not taking that money and not finding ways to multiply. Once you do that, you'll see things change. So hopefully you got something out of this video. 
If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below. Hit the like button, share. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. All right, so you guys take care. Have a good one. Later.